Hi guys, this is James from Devil's Paintbrush with another showcase video. This time it's of what I've been working on lately, which is Flames of War, Pan's Grenadier Division um, Company, even. Um, and these guys are going to be the Grosch Deutschland um, Pan's Grenadiers. Focus, come on. Okay, right, you get the idea. As usual, this isn't going to focus for me. Right, anyway, so. As I said, showcase video, um, all the models are Battlefront, bar the two elephants in the corner there, and the Swimwagens here. They're forged in battle, and there's Vesda. And what I'll, I'll show you when I, in more detail when I put them in front of the camera. But they've had a little bit of conversion work to turn them from Ferdinands into elephants. And if you don't know the difference, an elephant just had a coppola and a machine gun, and a Ferdinand didn't. That's pretty much it. So, uh, without further ado, let's go on with the uh, with the showcase. Let's start with um, the company commanders. There you go. This is the two I see with his uh, Panzernacker, which is a number of grenades tied together, anti tank weapon. And here is your one I see because he has a clipboard or the map on it. So, and a Panzerfaust. Now, this is a uh, early rocket launcher used by the Germans um, in Russia throughout the war. Uh, it's called a Pripachin launcher. It's an 8.8 centimeter rocket launcher. You can either have one of those or a couple of these Panzer Shrek, which you get in the more late war. There you go. And you can see the splinter camo I've done. I've done them mixed, some in uh, German field grey and some with the splinter camo. And this guy here is the sniper with his spotter. I've done extra foliage on this one just to represent the fact he'll be all concealed. Right, and now we'll go with the rest of the platoons. We have a MG42 platoon, which is four MG42s. Focus. Thank you. Two Grenadier platoons there and there. A Pioneer platoon there. A Mortar platoon there. And these are your scout platoons, and obviously your tank destroyer platoon, which are the Ferdinands, and we'll look at those now. Now, as I said, this is a Zvezda kit. Focus. There we go. Um, as you can tell, underneath it's all snapped together. Uh, all I did was add some Plastic Soldier Company stowage on the side there, a spare coppola from. Um, Battlefront and a spare tank commander from Battlefront and painted it in a late war ambush camo scheme. And this one, I just popped the coppola on. I'll get a, a, that machine at the front is Plastic Soldier Company, just uh, cut off a sprue, cut it in half, stuck up the front. There you go, there's Vesta. Um, I won't show you everything, but um, this is a flamethrower from the Pioneer. little bit of barrel and uh, where is this one I believe this guy at the back focus sitting on the barrel is Peter Pig well it could be mistaken it could be Battlefront I don't really know anyway they're, they're the pioneers I've done the pioneers all in field grey apart from a few helmet covers just so they look different on the battlefield um, I'll just pick up a couple from the Grenadier platoons. There you go. Again, mixed splinter and field grey. Look at the command. With his uh, lieutenant with his MP40 and uh, MG42 over the shoulder there. Oh, look at some of the mortars. This one is an interesting one. There's field cap on. This guy popping mortar bombs into the tube. All the infantry is pretty much the same. This is one of the observers for the mortar. I have to say, I didn't actually put these miniatures together. They were given to me to paint. Uh, so the area on that, I don't know what it did. It looks like... Um, 
a bristle from a brush. Again, with the observers, I put a bit more foliage so because there'll be a concealment spotting for the mortars. And last but not least, let's look at the Svinbargen. Now, what I did with these guys, um, as I said, they're forged in battle, which is a brilliant company. And in the back there, I don't know if you can see very well, let me just try and focus a bit more. Um, Plastic Soldier Company do a German stowage brew. Got some of those, so that's Plastic Soldier Company. 98Ks, ammo crates, and MG42 in there. And if I get the commanders in there, you've got an MP40, a jerry can, and a Panzerfaust. So there we go. That is the um, 1750 point late war German Panzer Grenadier company. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <coughs> Do apologise. Sorry about that. Focus. Right. Um. I'm, I've got another commission coming up. Uh, it's another Kings of War one from the same guy as the medieval stuff I did in the same sort of style. Um. But before I start that, I'm going to do a few unboxing videos for Plastic Soldier Company. Oh, I love Plastic Soldier Company and what they do and what they produce is fantastic. So um, I've got a few kits that I'm going to do some videos on and post those up throughout the weeks while I'm post um, doing this commission so you guys have something to watch. As usual, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get a few ideas for your own armies from this. And uh, with a bit of luck, you'll be popping a like and maybe a subscription. That'll be brilliant. As usual, thanks for watching guys and catch you next time.